Hello everyone, I am MechaRandom42, your favorite YouTube harpy, and we have some more Brie Larson. This, this one's kind of a hilarious little bit of uh, news. It's, it's really more of a speculation. Well, let, let's take a look at the, the official Netflix Twitter account for, uh, you remember a few days ago when we reacted to the whole Brie Larson little unicorn store trailer here? Where she's a painter who flunked out of school here, and oh lord. I, I don't think they liked her. I don't think they like you very much. Yep, yeah, you, you flunk. Did you that is because you painted the entire wall. Instead of just the little bit of, like, your canvas because... Rainbows! And you... Yeah, th this movie basically is the grown... Uh, the story of a grown woman child who wants a unicorn or something. I always know this is what you wanted to do. Or did you want to do another thing? Like, did I dream of figure the skating voice. but my parents wouldn't pay for the lessons? You don't want to be a temp forever. Gotta let the voice break. really, really gets to me. Hello, you unicorn store. The store, kit. We... I mentioned in my reaction to this already that that yes, it seems like Samuel Jackson is probably paying her with as many movies as they're in together, These are right? What you need unicorns? It was the only thing I ever wanted. They I... don't exist. Grow up, move on. Made I know it's a fantasy. I'm building a home worthy of me, unicorn. Do you think this is some kind of joke? Should we just get you a puppy? I don't want to be a grown up. My parents think that I'm insane. This is crazy. The most grown up thing you can do is fail at things you really care about. You got this. I don't want to say exactly what I said in my initial trailer reaction. Everybody needs some magic in their lives. Even if she's wearing pajamas, out. she's wearing rainbow pajamas, right? This is basically, in my opinion, it looks like a, a movie for grown women children, like millennial, the millennial grown women children audience who can't adult, you know, people who use that sort of terminology. And and I'll, I'll show you my initial first reaction to this uh, in, the, in the description below here, but this, this is the funny thing. So apparently Netflix tweeted this out on the 22nd. I believe that's around when I did my initial reaction to it. But they also had to go in and basically clarify who Brie Larson was <laughs> to wh whoever this person is. And I don't want to, like, dox them or anything. They have a protected account. But they, they, <laughs> they have to, like, clarify. Brie Larson has 58 acting credits, 53 award noms, two writing credits, two short film directing credits, one composing credit, one producing credit, one Oscar, one feature directing credit, been working since 1998, worked with Apatow, Baumbach, Wright, Bowden, Fle Fleck, a Abramson, Abram, oh fuck, I can't even say it, and more, blah, 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 blah. The point that they have to kind of go and remind the public who this woman is, when she's won an Oscar, kind of speaks volumes to me that she's not, she might not have the most memorable face to a lot of like just your regular people out there. Most people who, who actively follow her career because we're pop culture junkies, right? I never heard of this movie until a couple days ago. Imagine what your American public is like that, you know, the, the biggest box office superstar in the world right now with Captain Marvel is so unrecognizable that they have to, like, go out of their way to basically respond to a quote-unquote troll, probably, in their opinion, right? Let, let's, let's, let's see what he's saying. Let's see what he's saying here. Because, oh, his tweet is protected, though. I don't think we'd be able to to see what he's saying. Oh, I really, really wish. I really, really just Don't, don't autoplay. They don't actually let you see this, do they? Oh, no, they don't. Yeah, because his, his tweets are privatized. Darn, 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 darn. Man, see, I really would love to be able to, like, see what they say about it. But, no, it, it's just... That's just what's so shocking, that they felt the need to go out of their way to explain who this person is, who they've worked with. I've never seen this before in in anything. Like, it's, it's, is this supposed to be snarky? Is this supposed to be cute? I've never, ever seen that before when they're, when they're, like, out there promoting a movie of somebody who's, like, 
they have to kind of name drop. Oh, yes, they won an Oscar. They actually are famous, right? I, I just thought that was kind of a funny thing. And thank you so much to Krista Joe, who sent me this uh, in a little group chat with a whole bunch of awesome people like Ethan Van Skyver and, and Jeremy from Geese and Gamers and Odin from Odin's movie blog, people you already subscribe to. I, I just had to, <laughs> to laugh at that because my, my first response to this, um, let me let me read what I said in this group chat thing. I guess they need to let people know she's famous. And I had to laugh at it. So here's your little extra Captain Marvel bonus video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I am MegaRandom42, PO Box 1566, Loveland, Colorado, 80539, and I will see you guys on the next video or live stream. Bye! Thanks for watching! If you liked it, make sure to hit that like button, and if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye!